There we go. So, I've been pretty busy, and I have a whole. I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on the hydroelectric system. And I figure I would do a video on August flow measurements from the spring to see what sort of potential power there is. But I'm not really saying that there's a whole lot of power available. Um, Come on, I see you, you're right there. There you go. Uh, shut up phone. So I figure I would measure the gallons per minute. I just hooked this back up today. If I shut this off and give it a little time to build pressure, you know, it'll fill up the whole pipe and it'll fill up the collection bay up there. And then I'll have full pressure for maybe a minute. Uh, but otherwise, it quickly dwindles down to this amount of flow, which is not a useless amount of water. This amount of water is fantastic if you wanted to, uh, like, water the garden. This is all you need to water probably a fairly large garden over the period of a day if you collect this water and then distribute it at the proper times. But for now, all I'm going to do is put it in a bucket. This is a... Uh, I think it's a four gallon bucket, three and a half gallon bucket, and we'll see how long it takes to fill up and use that for our power measurements and see what sort of diameter jet we would need to make for optimum power production. And if you want to pause the video right now, make a, a guess below, you know, I'll reveal it later in the video, so I guess that's kind of a pointless gesture for you to do, um, but we'll see how many watts that this is if it was full pressure through a tiny jet uh, spinning a generator, just mechanical power. I'm gonna guess 15, 15 watts is my guess. So I guess start the timer now. Alright, that was 20 minutes and 9 seconds into this video, which I've been filming continuously. Uh, I have to pause you and rewind to see when it started, when I started it. So it was 2007 minus uh, 249, that's in seconds, so it's stupid per 60 issue. Uh, let's calculate that. So it was 17 minutes and 20 seconds to fill three and a half gallon bucket. So 3.5 divided by 20.4 is 0 0.172 gallons per minute approximately. Uh, so we have gallons per minute and then I multiply that by the head height. Are you playing in the water, huh? Yeah, it's almost nap time for you. So we take that times our head height, which is approximately 270 feet, and then multiply that by 0.18, which is a constant to get it into uh, watts. And we have a constant power output of, <laughs> I, I was close, what did I guess, like 15? 8.3 watts, 8.3 watts of potential power in the summer, so that's not even enough to get the turbine that I do have purchased up to speed. Uh, it would maybe be enough for a, a smaller turbine to actually work if it was, you know, 
worthwhile. I mean, it would be worthwhile for me because I do a video about it and then make enough money to make it justifiable, but you know, whatever. You're getting me wet too. Yeah. It was her first birthday uh, two days ago, Friday. So she's one now. And you can see she's walking and playing. And... Hi. Mama? Mama? Yeah, she knows some words, but she doesn't know what they mean yet. Anyways, what you could do with this water is, for example, right now, I just have it running into the yard here, which is dry. So I guess that's kind of watering the yard a little bit and getting me wet. Stop. So, sorry I haven't had a whole lot of content recently. We just got all of these trees cut down and cleared. I still have some logs that are down over there that I need to clear out before I can do the turbine housing. Uh, you're okay with that. I'll make sure you don't fall in and drown yourself though. And then over there I have, I'm gonna have to dig a, a pipe for Right through there, I have a culvert, but I need to dig another, dig for another pipe that the turbine pen stock will run through, which will run up there. And the turbine housing down there, and if you've watched Chris Harbour's most recent videos, he's having troubles uh, fitting everything in his turbine house. So I'm gonna make mine larger than I thought. I was gonna do like a three by three square, but I'm probably gonna do about a five by five square turbine pit and that should be sufficient. Are you getting dirty, huh? Mom told us to come running around in the dirt, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. Hi. You having fun? Like, comment, subscribe. So I plugged in the point zero one seven two here and it actually rounded up to 0.2 and we can see effective head pressure here doesn't really drop at all until we get down to almost one gallon per minute <laughs> and this is three quarter inch pipe so we're not even close to friction losses on the pipe and this is giving a power of six watts and remember that's with uh, combined turbine and generator efficiency and then Velocity of the jet is 131 feet per second, so that's really fast, you know, really fast turbine, so the velocity doesn't really change at all, even as you go with smaller nozzle, and the fantastic thing here is the nozzle is 0 0.023 inches, and of course I'll have metric below, <laughs> so it's a very small nozzle, and you'd have a hard time keeping that clear of even sand particles. So for that reason, it's not really feasible to even have a turbine running for these few months of the year.